Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Based on our success with additive manufacturing of other aluminum parts, we decided to build a part that we could actually test. So we asked Mike to design something. He came up with this truss. Uh, according to finite element analysis, we ought to be able to support over a thousand pounds with this thing. So Mike's using the finite element analysis to apply a virtual load to a virtual part. You can tell the high stress areas by the color. He's exaggerated the distortion here. Obviously this isn't an optimized design, but it will suit our purposes. The next step is where the magic starts. We import Mike's 3D CAD drawing into Kevin's Robot Master offline programming software and we generate the robot's toolpath. One thing we've learned is if we can avoid breaking and then restarting the arc, we typically get a better part. So in this case, Kevin's come up with a way to weld this part without ever breaking the arc. We've generated this program using Robot Master, and in this case, we're demonstrating it with a virtual FANUC robot. We're going to end up using the ARC-6 in our laboratory, but this is just a proof of concept. The ARC-6 is our six-axis, Delta Tau PMAC-based robot that we have in our laboratory. We have dozens of these running around the world, and this one we reconfigure for whatever process we're using. This time, we configured it with a Lincoln R350 PowerWave power supply. We're running AC Pulse. In additive manufacturing, this is referred to as WAM, or Wire Arc Additive Manufacturing. We're using a gas metal arc welding process. You can tell that we have a water-cooled platen underneath the part to try to maintain interpass temperatures. And you're going to see a time-lapse photography of us building an 8.5 pound part in under 3 hours. This makes sense. We're putting down about 3 pounds per hour with gas metal arc. One thing we've learned from additive manufacturing of aluminum is faster is actually better. So what we built is an aluminum truss. 15 inches long, 7 inches tall, about 8 inches wide, and quarter inch thick. If we'd have machined this from a solid billet, it would have taken days and wasted a great deal of material. Instead, we have an efficient, lightweight, additive manufactured part. The whole thing weighed less than 8.5 pounds. Now we test it. So we finished the truss. We calculated it should support 1,000 pounds, so we need to test it. We thought we'd use a race car because we have one hanging around. Our calculations were it would support over a thousand pounds. We went to 1227. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.